Welcome to PenMap Encore. This short video will show you how to collect data with a GNSS receiver. So let's get started. So we are now in the data collection application. To connect to the GPS receiver, we just click the GPS icon and the badge at the icon will tell you how many satellites the system is using. So now we have four satellites and a color-coded cursor on the map will show you your current position. On the status bar, top left, you will see your estimated accuracy and on the right you see your antenna height. And if you click there, you can change your antenna height. For instance, now 1.85 meters. Okay, so we can now tap and hold on the GPS icon to access the GNSS controls, like click on the position icon to see your current position, or uh, do this again, tap and hold to access the controls and click on the sky plot icon to see your current constellation of satellites and correction satellites. Okay. Let's access the GNSS controls again, for instance here to connect to an NTRIP caster or to change the settings here. And first we want to change the settings for the quality for the color-coded cursor. When we access this, now we have a slider bar which we move to the right. Then it's configured more for an RTK type receiver with fixed solutions. If we move this to the middle, it's more configured for submeter GPS, but you can figure this depending on your needs. On the lower left side, you can define your elevation mask. And so now we see we have four satellites and a red cursor. And after a while, when the limits are uh, reached, we see a green cursor and we just click on the icon and it takes a measurement, in this case, a manhole. But we can also change the settings. At the moment, the measurement was taken just by one epoch. And if we want to do a more precise measurement with averaging, we change the collection mode from single to average. And we can also select here how many epochs we want to use to calculate the position. In this case, we select the five epochs. And we do it now again, use the manhole as a feature. And if you press now the GPS icon, we will see that it will use five positions to calculate an average position. The same is possible also for line features. So you can also measure the nodes of a line features like here for a road curb using the average method. So the first node of the line feature, we are using five epochs to calculate this position. And then we move further on this road curb and we measure the second point and so on using the average method. It's really that simple and visual to collect data using any type of GNSS receiver. Want to learn more? Please check out also the other video tutorials of PenMap Encore. Thank you.